into it. We begin with breaking news at noon. New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell has filed a lawsuit in an attempt to block the recall effort against her from going to a vote. Let's go now to WDSU investigative reporter Cassie Sherm, who's live at City Hall with all the details. Cassie, we, we saw your tweets earlier today. What is the latest? Well, Daryl, two suits were filed, one in Orleans and East Baton Rouge parishes, hoping to seek to change the signature. So originally with the threshold, the agreement was lowered down by 5,000. They're hoping to fight back against that. Now, taking a look at what we know so far, Secretary of State's office struck the deal on March 1st in response to a lawsuit from recall organizers claiming the Orleans Parish voter rolls had some than 30,000 names of people who had died or moved out of the parish and state. The mayor's legal team in that lawsuit wants the Secretary of State to show by what authority he negotiated that settlement, calling the reclassification of 25,000 Orleans Parish voters arbitrary, stating the Secretary of State acted without any constitutional or legislative authority in reducing the number of qualified voters required to trigger a recall election. Simply put, they're saying that he did not have the power to make that change, and they believe that it should be fought back. Now, if successful in court, the threshold for the recall election would go back to nearly 50,000 signatures. And again, they are hoping to fight that arrangement and agreement that was made in court earlier, the I guess a few a couple weeks ago. And so we're going to continue to follow this story very closely, Daryl. All right, Cassie, thank you so much. All right, joining us now via Zoom is elections expert Joshua Spivak to discuss this lawsuit. Uh, Mr. Spivak, as always, thank you so much for joining us. First off, I have to get your reaction to what you just heard. This was expected, right? Uh, yes, there's no way that the mayor shouldn't have filed this. Uh, it's it's a very clear case that's extremely unusual. I've never seen anything like it, frankly. So there, she probably has a good chance of success, but who knows? Really, who knows? It's so uh, so strange. Yeah, you said she has a good, a decent chance. So when it comes down to how they took off some of these folks off the voter rolls. There's a lot of questions when it comes to how they got to that number so quickly. Is that going to be part of their argument in the courts? I would assume so. The arbitrariness of this is is really odd. Um, the fact that they're removed, but only for the purpose of the recall is itself a unusual development. So this is really going to be fought out and you would imagine the mayor would hope to succeed. Uh, but Again, it's it's so unusual that maybe the courts don't hold for her. It's really kind of a black box case. Now, I got to ask you this. So the thing that's very interesting in all of this is the timing, the timing of everything, how long the registrar of voters office, how long they have to, uh, you know, count the amount of signatures and then bring that into play. The timing of this really doesn't seem to be on the favor of the folks in the no Latoya Cantrell uh, recall, right? Well, the, you know, there is a statutory limit of how long it's supposed to take. So in that sense, yes, but perhaps the courts could agree to extend that. I'm not sure what they would do. Um, it, it's a little strange. Uh, the, you would assume the timing is not in the, our favor at this point, is not in their favor. But if they agree, then, you know, it, it depends on the amount of signatures they have. Yeah, that's a big question. And of course, we still don't know how many signatures they actually received uh, during their whole recall campaign. Finally, I got to ask you, how do you see this playing out? I know you said that the mayor's uh, Mayor Cantrell has a decent chance because of uh, her argument when it comes to this case. But how do you see this playing out? Do you see this playing out for a while in the court system? Uh, I don't think it would take too long, you know, at least uh, based on what other courts have acted, how other courts have acted throughout the country. They usually like to fast track recall cases and other election law cases like this because they know that a decision must be reached soon uh, for this to matter. A lot's going on. As always, Joshua Spivak, elections expert. As always, thank you so much for joining us. And again, something tells me this won't be the last time we'll be speaking with you. Thank you so much.